Welcome back everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today let's do some more magic finding. We're gonna hit up terror zones if they're cool and chaos if they're not. And yeah, uh, Diablo clones will be spawning soon. Let's get started. <laughs> oh, I think he's already in this game. Yep, he's here. Just an Oprah offer for anyone. Appreciate that, Ginger Fury. Got a pink dot over my chat setting icon. Any idea what it means? Is it the chat highlight settings? I don't know. Maybe like post a screenshot or something? Ch a pink dot over your chat settings. Oh, there could be like an update. Like on your chat settings or something? Like maybe they added something there? I have a chat highlights for me that shows up. But yeah, I don't know. How's it going, guys? Let's do this Diablo clone really quick. I'm just gonna go to Stonyfield. It's like the easiest. And there he is. Yeah, I don't I'm not sure what they updated. I saw that they changed like a shout out command, but I don't know if it's as good as like the stream elements one. But yeah, probably an update. Alright, we got the charm. Let's see what we got. Man, there's been so many Diablo clones, I swear. Okay, put that one here. And let's see what we got. Greetings. 14, 11, 10. Oh, that's kind of low. Oh well. Another Annie for the pile. Throw it on there. Cut so many. Jeez. Oh, I'm making a new. Actually, yeah, we could join this game. What's up, July? Okay, rejoining this. <laughs> Those Annie rolls just playing with you now. For real. It's like, what gives, man? Alright, we are up. First game of the day. You guys already know. So, what's being terrorized right now? Spider Forest. Ugh. Let's see. <laughs> just curious. Is this going to be terrorized too? No. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Spider Fort. I don't know, man. It's kind of... I don't know if I'm a fan of this. We kill a few things and see how it is. Here's the uh, portal if you guys don't have it. Spider Force is a nice spot for XP. Okay. I mean, we're almost halfway now. I'm sure we'll get past that today. Oh, these guys gonna hurt. Okay. Let's try not to stand too close, I guess. Large charm. Nope. Oh, we getting a squad going? Hell yeah. Never thought I'd be in Act 3 like this again. Read some crazy science today and saw it demonstrated. It was freaky. What was it? I am super interested in that stuff. Yo, the Spider Force is pretty big, actually. Oh my god. Hello. Linked Mail. I can't remember what this is. I'm just curious. Spirit Forge? That's a cool name. Oh, 
these potions. Okay, maybe not all those healing potions. Is that it? Is there more? Oh, there's stuff over here. It's a few things. Or was that it? Uh. Wait, there's gotta be more, right? I know this place is huge. Yeah, we got some over here. So science has proven that thought can affect RNG, and then they used an RNG array attached to some LEDs, and it'll change whatever color the nearest person's thinking about. Oh, oh, do you mean RBG? Or do you really mean like RNG? Like random number generation? That's sick though. So you can like affect things with your mind. I've always thought the mine was like a powerful thing, man. Oh, random number generating electronics. Oh, that's cool. New game? Gotcha. Oh, was the spider cavern actually affected? I didn't notice. Yo, that's sick, though. That's like a breakthrough right there. Yeah, truly freaky, for sure. Yes. Oh, Spider Cavern is good. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I was like wondering where you guys went. I was like, what's happening? Where is everyone? Alright, here's the waypoint if you guys don't have it. All we gotta do is get to the next Blizz server you're on. <laughs> we can all will it into existence. Stone of Jordan. Stone of Jordan. Griffin's Eye. I wonder if that has like anything like like any correlation to the law of attraction. I don't want to teleport there right now, come on. I got a war scythe. Check this bit out though. I'm curious man, give me the deets. You tell. The experiment was to make a windowless room? Uh oh. Controlling stuff like outside the room. That'd be kind of crazy. Set up a light to randomly point to corners in that room. Some plants in a corner. I'm visualizing, I'm visualizing. I'm a very visual person. Guess what corner got the most light? Was it the plant? Oh my god. Was the plant actually telling the light to like shine on the plant? What? Dude, that's that's pretty crazy. Cause I remember hearing that plants do have like a way to communicate. That's the theory. That's pretty sick, though. And they say, like... I don't know if there's any, like, truth to it or not, but they say, like, talking to your plants is supposed to help, too. I don't know if that's true or not, though. They can listen. Check make vegans were all murderers. I mean, yeah, they're alive, right? It wouldn't be fair to say they're not alive.
Oh, okay, it is terrorized. Good to know. Very cool. Got a bunch of Colleen's eye over here. Colleen's eyes. Four of them to be exact. to attack rating. Okay, new game. We're going to three. Oh yeah, I checked out that it's like Rogue Genesis. Something like that. It's I know the lot the second word's not right, but it sounds like that. But dude, it's like they have like slay the spire elements in it too. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I gotta repair my helmet. Genesia, Genesia. Okay, there we go. Good day. Oh, July with the Ormus robes. Three to warmth. I think I'm good. What is mine? Oh, I've got static field on mine. That's pretty cool though, warmth. Hard to say no for three dollars. Yeah, dude, exactly. I'm probably gonna buy it. Cause yeah, I had a blast with vampire survivors. Who <laughs> is the damage? I'm just glad there's no dolls out here. I mean, there's the little flares, but they don't blow up on you. So that's fine. I can't carry anymore. Superior axe. Give it all you got. Nova spam. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we're like a sliver away from halfway now. Oh my. Jeez, dude. These mosquitoes and their poison damage. Like, that was tough. Okay. Need extra HP. I am That's why I hate Act 3 now. <laughs> Dude, Act 3 just... Ugh. Do not like Act 3. Especially like playthroughs. Like, you get lost so easily. Trying to follow the river. It's like, no, I went this way. Yo, what up, Dimu? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Miss you too, dude. Yo, they added some pretty cool stuff in uh, Diablo. Love 4. Dude, 4 is my favorite. Yeah, Act 4. That was a new content. We're playing part of it right now. It's called a Terror Zone. So this area is like level 95 plus now. And they added some charms too that like break immunities. 
but you sacrifice that same immunity yourself, which is really cool. So you kind of don't need to build infinity, almost. I don't know, it's pretty sick, dude. Alright, are we doing new game? Absorb build? Um, I'm a fireball in frozen, not frozen orb. Fireball and Nova build right now. But yeah, next ladder starts on October 6th. Yes. So that'll be cool. I'm excited for that. Good day. Good day. We have 13 more minutes until the next terror zone too. So hopefully we get a good one. It'd be cool if we get if we got cows. Just been in Minecraft. Dude, nice. I've been playing that on like my variety days right now. Since they updated the caves and cliffs. But it's like I'm still kind of like relearning the game because it's been so long. I'm hoping to like beat it or like finish a playthrough. Whatever that entails. I don't know how you finish Minecraft though. Like is there like an end? I don't know. You too. Oh my god. Yes, Ender Dragon. I think there's bosses after that too, dude. Like, I haven't seen it, but I've seen like people mention Wither. I'm gonna try Raft on Steam Deck. Dude, Raft is such a good game. I had a lot of fun with that. It's so chill. Oh, Small Charm. One to Dex. No, thank you. Oh, you played Raft 2, Zared? Dude, it's so nice. Such a good way to unwind. The music's, like, super chill, too. There's, like, one underwater, then Wither. Now there's Underground Boss. Forgot that boss name. Oh, is it Underground Boss, too? I kind of remember... There's, like, a Sea Temple boss. I think that's the underwater one. I've never seen it though. Oh, no wonder. These guys are immune to lightning. I should be switching to like fireball for those. Maybe. The water gets you the trident. I've seen the trident. The trident looks super fun. Like, you can like fly out of the water or like swim faster with it that looks really cool i want that but yeah i found this really cool seed it's like really high mountains next to the ocean so i built my base into the mountain and there's like two villages nearby too which is really cool Spider Cavern. Still weirded out by the extra depth they added. Yeah, dude, that is so weird. I don't know where to find stuff anymore. <laughs> it's like the diamonds were always at like a certain level, right? It was like around 16 or something? But now it's like... I don't know, it could be almost anywhere, right? Ooh. Wait, nope, never mind. Not that good. 
the new underground depths usually under the mountains like negative 59 now or 55 oh okay negative 55 dude it's so deep yeah there's a lot of stuff i still have to like explore there like i don't know what some of the stuff is like there was some like blue grass that looked like it was breathing underground i have no idea what that was and it was like spreading They're still there more abundantly. Okay. Yeah, I liked your mining method that you showed me. Just like do a hole or whatever. Move two forward, do another hole. That's a new zone. Oh, okay, so you know what I'm talking about. It was so weird. I was like trying to like break some of it and like harvest it, but no, it didn't work. And I didn't want to like break the grass. In case it was like sentient, I don't know. Yeah, I got a prospect, that's for sure. Oh, you have to use a hoe for it? Okay. Might have to try that. Okay, new game. We're going to five. T minus eight minutes till the next terror zone. Dun dun. I wish the arachnid lair would get terrorized too. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, these guys are lightning immune too. I didn't even realize. Well, the fetishes aren't. we get chaos next. That'd be so sick. Hold on a second. I can't tell. I'm trying to see if they're immune to lightning or not. Because I feel like they're taking so many hits. I think they are. I think I just saw it. Dang, bro! Like, almost everything's lightning immune in here. Did you guys get any good Annie's from that Diablo clone? Or nah? Or did you even bother? Oh, that's a great marsh. Wrong way. Super rare El Rune. It's rare in hell, man. You don't really see those too often in hell. Oh, that's a great marsh, too. Where's the spider place, man? Give me that spider cavern. Okay, here's more stuff over here. Man, Theo, you need like a leap or a teleport. Oh, there you are. Cool. See, then we got the river again. Okay, gotta go around this way. <laughs> Four minutes. Not 
There's the spider cavern. Oh yeah, you're right. Halfway 94. We got it. We're a little sliver ahead now. Very nice. Dude, I'm using so many monopods here. I'm living on the lightning immunes. There's too many lightning immunes. I have to cast so many Novas. Okay, we got one monopod there. Oh, hey, some... He's lighting enchanted. <laughs> of course, and fire enchanted, bro. Okay, I mean, this zone's okay. Like, for being terrorized. Okay, we got time for one more before the next wave. Ormus, give me those monopots. And, oh, you don't have keys. That's lame. Why don't you have keys, man? Very nice. All right, we got one more minute. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Chaos or cows? Chaos or cows? Or bail? It's flare jungle. I guess we go this way. new. That sounds fun. Let's check that out. Stay a while and listen. Vidalas. <laughs> nah, I wish. I wish it was Tal, Amy. There's that sliver of hope. And then it was crushed. Yeah, never towels, dude. For real. Oh, I wonder if Pendle's gonna be terrorized. Interesting. Oh, sweet. Okay, you sell keys. Perfect. Nope. Grab some of these, some of those, some of that. Yeah, I'm curious to see... It's terrorized! Pindle! Oh, dude, that's sick. He didn't drop anything, though, but still, that's, that's pretty sick. I don't know if it's worth killing these guys. Pindle is terrorized, you should just rapid-fire him over and over. That's what I was thinking. But I kind of want to, like, see how this is, too, and also Nilithak, you know? Because that could be fun. It's 
time for pinhole runs. Dude, these Night Lords right now. I wonder how good that would be for magic finding, just doing straight up Pindle and then just doing new game when it's being terrorized. Versus like farming this whole area. Yeah, I don't know. Doing just Pindle is not too much of a group thing though, unfortunately. So I like playing with you guys. Pretty good doing just Pindle because he's not immune. Yeah, that's true. That's such a quick run, too, now that I think about it. Because you just walk up to the portal, go in, teleport like two or three times. Boom. New game. <laughs> just keep doing that over and over again. I've never gotten anything good from Pindle, though. Like in all my times, like playing Diablo. Oh no, not these guys. No. These ones are strong. Oh yeah, immune to lightning. He's level 99 now. Oh! Pindle's level 99? Oh, it's because you're a higher level though, right? I think mine was... I don't know what level mine would be. Would mine be like 96? I think mine might be 96. But level 99 Pindle, dude, that's dope. Afternoon. Uh, this one. Had to get my boy back. Seen Archon plate. Good start. Three sockets. 497 though. We're gonna get you there. Just need to be level 94. Oh, just 94. Okay, nice. Yo, more than halfway now. Dude, that's so sick. Level 99 pin. What? If the terror zones are jumped. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I like that backup plan. Like those stony tomb ones. Uh, pass. This is a good one, though. I like this. It's like really good because the monster density, I think. I think that's why I like it. Just so much density here. I say that as there's two stragglers here. <laughs> Isn't Pindle known for dropping the crazy Necro Wand? I'm not sure. I know he can... I think he's one of the few that can drop every item in the game though, right? I think he's one of those. Because he's like classified as a super unique. It's a solid one with higher player count. Yeah, I could... Yeah, definitely. Even without like this zone being terrorized, it was always pretty good for experience. Most items in the game. Okay, there you go. Bro, I need potions. What am I doing? But now is a terror zone. Every item in the game. Oh, good point. Yeah. Get some high runes out of him. Yeah, where's the monopods? Huh? She's not selling any monopods right now. Bro, get out of here with that. 
You for real? Oh yeah, she's for real. <laughs> Can drop almost anything, but some items are weighted. Can't drop materials and a few others on a standard drop rate. Oh, okay. Dang, it seems like... Well, before this, what is it? Only Bale that can drop materials then? I feel like that might be the case. Or maybe there's like a couple others. Man, Mala's just straight up. Nope, we're out of monopods. Sorry. <laughs> Come back another time. Pits, Bale, and Nilothak can all drop it? Okay. Oh, yeah, the pits make sense now. Yeah. Because I see people farming pits for their Holy Grail all the time. Okay, that makes sense. But Nilothak too, huh? I didn't know that. Ran pitch for your grill. Yeah, see, that's like the, one of the go to spots for sure. And there's like specialized pit zerker builds. Oh no! Did you DC Theo? Oh, there you go, you're back. Jamali, the tank, taking all these hits. I love it. Found a 30-40 blue Jaws earlier. It was very sad. Oh! What does it have to be, like, 640? You got blocked in. Oh, no. That's always scary. I can't move. Meaning's just stuck. Like when I was doing Ubers. And it was like, we are on Uber or Durial. And all those little maggots were blocking me in. <laughs> Could not do anything there. Oh, 440s. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, always look out for those javelins. 540s are a few burrs. Oh, even those have value? Oh, oh shoot. I didn't know that. I thought you had to like look specifically for the six ones. Good to know. Top is 640s are worth about a hundred birds. That's the one I've been looking for, dude. I always pick up those javelins. That is so crazy though. 100 birds. Always look for the five NATO druid has to. Yeah! I always keep my eyes peeled for those. Always identify those helmets for sure. Yeah, PvP. That's the same with the Jeweler's Monarch, right? Jeweler's Monarch of Deflection. That's mostly for, like, PvP. Plus six skills and max increase attack speed. Breakpoint. Yeah. Yep, Jmod too. And then there's those, um... What do you call them? Just like the orbs, the crystals you were telling me about? Like, I didn't know about those before. Like, what? I've been skipping over those the entire time. Like those sorceress crystals. I forget what they're called. Like, crystals or orbs. Oh, we got an Oort rune. <laughs> and a soul. Okay, okay. Keep getting higher. Keep getting higher. Let's go. Let's go. Blue orbs can roll plus 6 to a skill, plus 20 faster cast rate, and can get 2 sockets with Larzak. Oh my god. Yeah, I imagine if you get like a really good skill for that plus 6. Yeah, that's probably really good. 1 to 2 sockets is 50-50 chance. Oh, okay. So you gotta get something good and then 
gamble it with the large back on me. Oh, please, two sockets, please. Could always re-roll fire sword and make six ball or hydra staff. True, true. Dude, I do love fire. Because they have that helmet now, too. Flickering flame. It's like, I'd love to try that out, too. Found a two druid, 20 faster castrate home. Blue. Got two sockets with Lars. I can trade for three bird. What the fuck? That, that's all it had? Two druid skills and 20 faster castrate? And then two sockets? Oh my god. I need to pay more attention to the blues too, jeez. That's wild. Yeah, I'm trying to like imagine new fire sort with the sundering charms too. Oh man. Might be good. I do love me some fireball. Stuff like... Hold on. <laughs> Stuff like that, 20, uh, 220 druid rare with good mods and two sockets is like 50 plus per. Mine was entry level. 50? I can't even like fathom having that many burrs. Oh, TP's up? Okay. Coming. Everyone leaves PvP treasure on the ground. That's why I used to follow bots and grab the blues I didn't identify. It's a good strategy, man. Same with like following them following them around in like chaos runs and horking. Oh whoops. Going up here. We're here. So I use JSP to take that FG and use it whatever you want to buy. Yeah, I still gotta get on that. JSP thing, man. I'm slow to convert. <laughs> I'm really slow to convert. 16 alive. One of those builds, five characters. Yeah, that's the thing. Man. You can find that one GG item and then you're pretty much set for a while. Let me know when you want a tutorial. Alright, man. Oh, there's a ring! Probably not today though, because yeah, today's my early day. I usually stream shorter on Wednesdays, just because I go to the gym right when it opens tomorrow, which is like 5 a.m. So I wake up at like 3.30 in the morning, make breakfast at four or earlier, and then like head out over there. Yeah, super early start to my days. At least not for like Thursdays. Never mind. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. GSP is hard for a lot of people because it's pure foreign board and those aren't popular anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, uh, trying to navigate. What do I do here? And then they say you need like a mediator too. Yeah, it'd be cool to see like a trade go down. That would like help me out. like what to look out for if like people are like scammers or something so I don't want to fall for that stuff I don't want to get d2'd <laughs> I think that's what we used to call it like in Lord of Destruction it's not a trade so much it's an honor system that works pretty well oh okay System. What you got, Nilithak? What you got for us? Drop it! He's got nothing for us. Superior. Why am I picking this up? Oh, we got the bow. Nope, that's bad. Okay, let's do this side too.
Hey, we've gotten a quarter of a bar already. That's pretty nice. Like, if you legit scam someone, the account is full dead, no questions. Dang, okay. Yeah, I saw there's like a section too for like shaming scammers or something like that. Like a wall of shame. Something along those lines. Okay, new game. We go on to seven. That sounds cool, though. So young accounts aren't trust as much. Yeah, I'm gonna be one of those, bro. <laughs> Zero confirmed trades. Just, hey, it's me, your boy. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Pindle skin? Uh, yeah, Pindle skin kills are so quick. Oh, we got the Devilkins this time. They're a bit easier to kill. Yeah, look at this. No lightning immunes. Just plowing through. Love it. Did you check that ring? Oh, you're right. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on, BK or Stone of Jordan? Let's go. Twenty-one Nagel, bro. Get out of here. So weak. Dude, it's never anything good. I swear. Ugh. I have yet to ever have a Stone of Jordan or a BK drop in like all my time playing Diablo. I've always had to like buy them. I've never gotten them, dude. Never. And I don't really want to spam in Dario runs. <laughs> told you how to do it it only takes an hour is it really only an hour if it's only an hour I might consider that get 308 magic find spot uh, spam nightmare and Dario I remember the number man that specific number <laughs> it's like embedded in my mind now because it was so weird so random. <laughs> oh, let's get these guys. skipping over those gems for now. I'm still in that mood. Like, ah, uh, I think I'm good. We're so close to the end. Yo, what's up, spider? Thanks for stopping by, man. Hope you're doing well. Mm, 
not very many drops today. Oh, here we go. Here's the lightning. I was waiting for that. Here we go. Throwing so many fireballs. Come on. Come on. Dude, these guys are mean to lightning too? Get out of here, man. Bro. I'm like strictly fireballs with these guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Kept getting stuck there. What was like cornering you? Oh my god. So these guys, the Night Lords, they kind of rush in. How fast do they cycle? 30 minutes? It's a, an hour each one. The big guys? Yeah, that's what I thought. Those lightning immunes. But yeah, every hour we get a new terror zone, and it's just random. Man, the first time I was doing this, it was so nice, dude. Like the order we got, it was chaos and bail and tombs. It was like perfect. The only thing that was missing would be cows. Halls of Vought, okay. I need my buffs again. Rebuff. Some champions here. Yes, pop all the things up. <laughs> Oh, evil urn. Hey, harpies. Where are those drops at? Found him. Oh, okay. We got a key drop. Nice. I'm actually not sure how many keys we have right now. I wonder if we're close to having another key set. Looks like we're done here. New game. We're on eight. Hello. Yeah, I kind of like this terror zone. This is cool. Faster cast rate. You have another key right here. We'll have to transfer these over. Key of hate, key of destruction, nice. Crown.
coffee time. Okay. Sounds good, Theo. Shoot, if that's the case. If it's just me, I'm just gonna farm Pindle then. Until you guys wanna hop in. So let me know. Let me know. I'm just gonna do Pindle then. Oh, look at that. A lot of XP. Cryptic Axe. Ooh, Grand Charm. Let's see. A 1 to 3 fire damage. <laughs> yeah, we can hammer these out, honestly. It's so fast. Nothing. I wonder if it would be faster to just do play. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Let's try it. I'm going to go play. Oh. I think this is a little bit faster, so I don't have to like type in the new number every time. I need that faster run walk while in town, though. I am overburdened. Oh, there's boots. Not try res. Okay. Okay. Oops. No, nothing there. Yeah, this is way faster. Just go into the play menu. Yeah, man, my luck with Pindle has not been the best. Oh my god. I am overburdened. We go again. You're keeping up, up on potions this way. Yeah, true. You can pick these up. I can't carry Cryptic axe. Nah. Don't really have to buy potions because he's always gonna drop some. It's like self-sustaining. Look, we're like using green energy now. <laughs> friendly for the environment. Ooh, Crusader Gauntlets. Nope. Immediate no. options. Oh my god. Yeah, that pindle charge, man.
Okay, maybe a few more of these. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm feeling like... What's the word? Not like defeated, but... I don't know, he's like not dropping anything. Like, bro, come on, throw me a bone. Give me something. At least if I'm farming the zone, I'm getting like a bunch of XP. What's your magic find? Right now it is 326. Okay, small charm. Let's see. I'll actually keep this. I think that's an upgrade. Don't I have another lightning? What's oh, 10 to life? Do I really only have one lightning charm? I guess so. Most of my stuff is fire. Well, I'm going to keep that for the smiter then. He can use that. We have some like lower lightning small charms I know no Flawless Skull. Okay. If I don't get something on this one, I'm going to switch it up. Maybe we'll, like, alternate. Do, like, five Pindle, and then do one full run, full clear. Five Pindle, one full clear. Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna do this. Just do not have luck with Pindle, man. Florida getting effed up right now. Yeah, dude, I saw. Crazy stuff. It's like almost a category five, right? You're on the e East Coast, right, Zared? I know Ginger Fairy is. I could have swore you were on the East Coast as well. Getting downgraded though. Oh, okay. Oh, you are? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Do you normally get hit by hurricanes over there? East time, but not coast. Okay. Oh, you're gonna get rain. So it's not gonna be too bad for you then. Just some rain. That's good, then. Oh, Eastern Time, gotcha. By the time any of it gets here, it's only cold rain. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are safe. That's good. Crazy stuff, though. Seeing all that flooding and everything. Okay, we're just gonna back up here. Yeah, luckily we don't get hurricanes in California. We just get wildfires. <laughs> Man, 
and sometimes earthquakes, but they haven't been like serious at all. At least the ones I've experienced. Just kind of random. It felt like I had motion sickness, like the first time I experienced it. It's like, uh, why is my water shaking? Is there a street sweeper outside? No, there wasn't. It was actually an earthquake. The only natural I gotta worry about is a tornado. Or if the new Madrid decides it's time to open up. What's the new Madrid? Is that like a volcano or something? Sounds like a volcano. Aw, oh, dude. Tornado sounds scary, though. We've had tornado warnings before. But I don't know if they've actually, like, ever touched down and done damage. We don't really have basements here to, like, take shelter in. Yeah, none of the newer houses have basements. Some of them do in downtown, but not all of them. And those houses were built in, like, the 20s or something. Like, around there. Man, I would love a house with a basement, to be honest. Like, I wish we had more of those out here. Basement's a double-edged sword in a state that's half swamp. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because when your basement gets flooded, you probably have to get, like, a pump. Like, pump all that water out. Oh, that sounds like a headache. Oh, dude. Then it's like you don't really want expensive electronics down there if it's going to get flooded. Oh. Like sump pumps are a thing? Yeah. Oh man, that's such like a cool idea. Like, bro, that'd be like my gaming room, my office. I'd have my workout equipment down there. No, I don't want that stuff getting flooded. <laughs> All wrecked. Yeah, see, I don't want to. No, man. That would suck, dude. Spend all this money on a computer and then... Oh! Basement's flooded. get a lot of cool wildlife. See, I'm down with that. That's a nice little trade-off. I'm a big fan of the wildlife, that's for sure. And if there's any cool trails... I love going hiking. Luckily, there's a lot of fun trails in California. At least Northern California. I've never gone hiking in, like, Southern California yet. But yeah, a lot of stuff out here. Got redwoods, too. Like, the further north up you go. Okay, I need potions. I'm using every single potion I have. Good afternoon. The halls of anguish. Yeah, man, I gotta get out there before winter hits. I can't remember the last time I went hiking. It's gotta be like two or three months ago though. If you're going to live in California, death live in more than half. Yep. That's where I am, dude. I'm not too much of a fan of the southern. Aside from the beaches. That's like the only thing like SoCal has going for them, is the beaches. And man, I've been to LA 
Not a fan. The only thing that was cool was like the beaches, to be honest. But Northern California, you got Napa Valley. You got all the trails by Redding. Uh, San Francisco, that's considered Northern California, but I'm not too much of a fan of San Francisco, to be honest. <laughs> Ugh, it used to be so much better. And now it's like, I don't know, man. I don't really want to visit San Francisco anymore. Northern Cal is livable. It's like natural things on their own there. Yeah. We also have Lake Tahoe too, that's another one. Lake Tahoe is beautiful. We've got a lot of lakes in Northern California. Rivers. Like, we've got the American River and the Sacramento River close to me. And I, have, I know so many cool spots on the American River. Like, one of my favorite spots of all time is on, like, the northern fork of the American River. Because there's three forks. Um, and yeah, it's on the northern fork. But the water is crystal clear. I usually go late July or August. And I mean, you can see fish swimming. You can like see clearly to the bottom. You see all the rocks and everything. Uh, they used to do like a lot of gold panning there too. Sometimes you see them out there. But the water is like warm too. Feels like a bathtub in the summer. It, it's so nice, man. There's a bunch of rocks you can jump off of. And it's funny because it's my favorite place to go swimming. And I almost drowned there as a kid. <laughs> I got caught in some like rapids. I couldn't fight the current, man. I was too small. Could not fight that current. So I just like... I don't know, man. I bit the bullet and... I like curled up in like the fetal position and just let the water take me. And I just, I hit my head on the rock. I had like this huge bump. It was like swelling and like blue. I think it was like bleeding a little bit too. But yeah, I made it out on the other side of the rocks. Luckily there was like a path that the water like allowed me to go through. Cause it was like two rocks and I was like wedged between them. So I like went under though. And then there's like a guy on the shore. He helped, helped me get out of the water. Gave me his hand. I wasn't like unconscious or anything, but I just hit my head pretty hard. But yeah, man, could not fight that current. That was something else. My water's nothing to mess around with. Man. <laughs> Most drowned I was 14. Can't be in water that I can't see the bottom of unless I'm in a boat. That feels worthy to whatever the body of water is. Yeah, I have... For me, it's like the ocean. Being out in the ocean, like, scares me. Because I hear all, all those stories about, like, riptides, dude. Oh, man. I'm not really, like, a strong swimmer either. Like, I can swim, but... Like, when it comes to, like, endurance swimming and I have to keep myself afloat to stay alive. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> can do ocean, but it's got to be a serious vessel. Yeah. If I'm on a boat like that, it's fine. But if I'm, like, out there, like, swimming... I get kind of sketched out. Like, I want, I don't want to go too deep. Just in case. Because you always hear those stories about people getting pulled out. Swim, I won't go past my knees in the ocean. Yeah, I don't blame you, dude. The one time I did go swimming in the ocean was in, like... It was in Carlsbad. It's north of San Diego. But, yeah, that was my experience of... Or, a little bit of my experience of Southern California beaches. I mean, that was nice. Like, the waves weren't too crazy. I think I went up to, like, my shoulders. And, yeah, it's as far as I wanted to go. But th they, they had lifeguards there, too. They had, like, warnings where there's, like, 
drop-offs, like there's like holes in the sand or something. But yeah, that was the only place I ever went swimming in the ocean. I was still freaking out about the riptides though, I do not want to experience that. But that was similar like water temperature too, it was so warm. I think it was like in the 70s outside, but the water was still like comfortable. But yeah, with the rivers here, you really want to go upstream. Because the closer you get to downtown here, oh man, the water just gets nasty. Like, I <laughs> would not even put my feet in it. Like, oh, that's kind of gross. Okay, we're getting, uh, let's get some more monopods. Saw a jellyfish polyp on the docks next to my dad's boat in San Angeles when I was six. Freaked me the hell. I couldn't even touch that water. Yo, jellyfish are scary, too. Imagine getting stung by one. Yeah, that's something you don't want to mess with as well. Mm-mm. I'm good off that. Bro, these guys are just waiting. They all just, like, collapsed on me. The only ocean life I've seen... I've seen, like, washed-up jellyfish. Never, like, like swimming, though. But I've seen like sea lions, seals like pop their heads out of the water and stuff. Look like a big eye winking at me over and over. Oh no! <laughs> like, come here. Come on, don't you want to poke me? <laughs> no, don't fall for it. It's bait. Don't fall for the bait. Yeah, here we go with the monster density. Here we go. A lot of immune to lightnings though. Oh my god, I just died. Okay, back it up, back it up. It's a regroup here. Get a little cocky there. I'm not Superman. I'm just a sorceress. Yo, could you stop healing them? Stop. Stop. Oh, we got T minus 10 minutes till the next zone, folks. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Place your bets. That's my bet. Oh, I just... I do remember like a bunch of washed up... I don't know if they were jellyfish or not. I was a kid though. And we were like backpacking on the coast. We used to do like a lot of backpacking. Like you just kind of go out there, set up your own campsite, wherever it looks good. But yeah, there are like a bunch of small, like blue, squishy things. We walked on them too, and they didn't like sting us or anything. They're like about maybe the size of a quarter, like a little bigger maybe. But yeah, there was like hundreds of those washed up on the shore. Just randomly remembered that. Just having another combo, what were they? I don't know, they might have been like some kind of jellyfish or something. But we walked on them 
And they didn't like sting us or anything. They're just like squishy. I swear I walked on them barefoot too. Unless I'm misremembering. But they're like blue and the, like the size of a quarter. Portuguese. Man, was it that? Hold on, let me look this up. You know, it kind of looks looked like that. Sorta, without the tentacles though. I don't remember the tentacles. Would those be in Northern California? In the Pacific Ocean? No, I don't think. It's probably not that. You walked on jellyfish. I don't know if it was jellyfish or not. Maybe it wasn't jellyfish, but they're like blue and the size of a quarter. And there were hundreds of them washed up on the shore. Lucky you didn't die. They could be anywhere technically. <laughs> Dude, maybe I was lucky. Shoot. Because, yeah, this was a long time ago. When we went backpacking. I was probably... Definitely younger than 10 years old. That's for sure. Younger than 7. Around there. Well, they can be anywhere technically. Maybe it was those. They kind of look like that. I just don't remember the tentacles. But they were squishy. I remember they were squishy. You can't just be playing around on beaches. <laughs> He solved the mystery. How oh, Jesus walked on water. There were jellyfish. Yeah, I just float on the jellyfish, right? He tamed the ocean. Cone snail will kill you too. Dude, the ocean's a scary place, I swear. Hold on, what's a cone snail? I'm interested. Bro, what? I would pick those up if I was a kid. I'd be like, hey, look what I found. <laughs> Yeah, that's something I would have picked up. Because I remember, like, poking sea urchins, too. Because there's, like, tide pools, I remember. Like, a bunch of sea urchins in those. Taurus, do pick them up and die. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, do not pick up the snails in the ocean. <laughs> Tidepools are like the most dangerous place. Yeah, now I'm learning, dude. Now I'm learning. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't like get stung or anything. Actually, we've had some encounters with bears before, like going camping, but they haven't like really messed with us. They are more after our food. Like you hear them stomping around and then you wake up like in the morning, all your stuff is like open. <laughs> East Tideful is a mini nature coliseum full of nasty little gladiators. It's so interesting to look at though, that's for sure. And you know, as like a kid, you want to like touch them, even though you shouldn't. But yeah, let me just poke the sea urchin.
Did any of the bears ask you for a picnic basket? Oh, I remember Yogi Bear. No, they didn't ask. They just took it. <laughs> I won't go to tight pools. Anything less than work boots. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. No, I don't want to. Want to like go stomping around in there. Not anymore. Especially after what you're telling me. <laughs> Caught her armor up for that. For real, dude. For real. What was the little bear's name with Yogi? Did it start with like a B? Boo boo. Yep, boo boo. Hey okay, boo boo. How about we get them picnic baskets? Something like that. I can't remember if that's how he sounds like. But that's how he sounds like in my memory. Hello. <laughs> yeah, boo boo. Yeah, that used to be on Cartoon Network when I was a kid. I think it was called like Boomerang or something. Like they had the older shows. You got it pretty close with the impression, bro. I love doing impressions, honestly. I used to watch a lot of cartoons as a kid. Same with like the old Scooby Doo show, too. Like, I didn't realize the one that I used to watch was like made in like the 60s or the 70s. Hanna Barbera. Yep, yep. I remember that. Didn't they also show, like, Wacky Racers? Was that part of that same brand, too? I remember a few episodes of Wacky Racers. I always thought that was, like, one of the coolest shows at the time. It's like, bro, look at all these different cars. Everything looks so unique. Oh, we got one minute. What's the next zone going to be, folks? Let's find out. T minus one minute remaining. Let's put this stuff away. Completely full. Hanna Barbera used to be the animation studio in the world. Yeah, I can imagine, dude. Oh, yeah, there's the Flintstones, too. They might have been under that same umbrella. I remember watching the Flintstones, too. Because, yeah, Cartoon Network would have, like, a... A certain segment where they would show all those shows. Flintstones was? Yep, okay, cool. Yeah, I used to like the Flintstones. I think Scooby Doo was my favorite, though. I love Scooby Doo. Lost City and Claw Viper Temple. Let's see how this is. You remember the Flintstones Winston cigarette commercial? I don't know. I don't remember that commercial. That's kind of funny though. Flintstones, like advertising cigarettes. Like, that would be unheard of nowadays. A cartoon advertising cigarettes. Was the Jetsons hand? Oh yeah, I remember the Jetsons! I watched that too. I remember that one. And I swear they had like a crossover episode with the Flintstones once. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. The Jetsons was theirs. Okay, so maybe I'm not just imagining that. I feel like they did have a crossover episode once. I don't remember what happened, but I, I remember there being a crossover episode. I always loved that too. And like shows would have crossovers. Yo, you're in this cartoon too? How? How is this possible? Wait. So if Lost City is terrorized, does that mean the ancient tunnels are too? I think the crossover might have been when the Great Kazoo was introduced. 
That name is so familiar, but I do not remember who that is. Hold on, Great Gazoo. Great. Okay, I remember this guy. I don't remember his show, though. But I remember seeing him. That green dude. Oh, we got a full rune. Okay, Ancient Tunnels. Moment of truth. Ah, it's not terrorized. Dang it. That would have been too good, I guess. Oh well. I guess, what do we do? Just like rush the Claw Viper Temple here then? I mean to cold. Surprised you're old enough to remember any of this stuff. Vaguely I remember it. Cause yeah, it was Cartoon Network at the time. Cause I used to stay at my grandparents' house. They used to watch me and they had like, dish. It was always like Scooby-Doo in the mornings, I remember. But oh, you watched it on broadcast TV? Yeah, I didn't see it on there, no. It was just like reruns or whatever on Cartoon Network. Like during the mornings, like a early afternoon. eventually had like a whole channel dedicated to those cartoons. They called it like Boomerang or something. Huh! <gasps> I think this is one that we could re-roll, right? 42 to life, level 83. I think that's a charm. Yeah, that we can re-roll and maybe get a skiller. Pretty sure. Didn't get cartoon at work until Dexter's Lab was a thing and I love me some Dexter. Dude, Le Dexter's Lab was sick. And they had those little... Oh, what was it called? Their version of superheroes. There's like Major Glory. Val Halen. Do Terror Zones increase treasure class? Uh, yeah, increases the drop rate a bit, yeah. So you're finding like better items and stuff? Oh, it is increased treasure class? Okay, thanks, thanks Ginger Fury. <laughs> Okay, yeah. We got a reroll charm. Yeah, I know all the grand charms can be rerolled, but I wasn't sure if this was like the one. Because I'm still getting used to like the lifer ones. Oh, there's an orb. I want to keep remembering to pick these up. Oh, that's a meteor. Okay. Yeah, thanks, man. But hey, if you guys, if anyone wants to hop in and magic find with us, this is the game info. That's just the proven one. Okay. It's close enough that it can become a life skiller. Yo, it would be dope. I mean, I do have the perfect gems to re-roll these. Used to be worth an ist, but not anymore with terror zones. Ah, uh, okay. So we just have to just re-roll it then. Try to get lucky. Oh man, poor Theo. <laughs> no teleport, you gotta open up the doors. Maybe um to Mal now. Hey, that's still not too bad. I would do that trade, honestly. You know, this terror zone isn't that bad. I kind of like the Claw Viper Temple. I think it's because I'm not seeing any lightning immunes. Mama um, would agree. Yeah. It's about 1 out of 20 rolls to get a skiller or something like that. Hmm. I'll have to count how many perfect gems I have. I know I have a bunch though. Even after selling some of them.
I was saving a bunch of the amethyst though. Depends on your level two. Oh, really? Okay. Well, level 93. Hopefully that's fine. So if you have a 99, you're not telling us about? No. This is my highest character on ladder. I wish I had a 99. Impossible. The sun altar. Look at that slow Impossible. motion kick. Ugh. Whoops. Impossible. Ugh. Impossible. Ugh. I can't. <laughs> Wait, you can't open it? Impossible. Oh. Okay. New game. We're going to two. Looking for two thirty Nagels, Pete P Topaz Shaco, and four Isted Monarch. If anyone has them, I'll pay runes or FG. I mean, I have this, but I'm kind of using this right now. I don't have a thirty Nagel either. And no. Oh, dude, I should have saved that Monarch for you then. I had a superior Monarch that dropped. It was like thirteen ED. Dang. Good day. Zared's gonna go check. Wanna do a big giveaway? Dude, I'm down. I'm not sure if we're gonna get like a big turnout though. Cause last time we did a giveaway, not very many people showed up. So I ended up doing like I would give away one rune at the end of every stream. We would do uh, marbles for it. And we'd usually get like three to five entrants. Maybe three to four entrants. I'll just say like four average. But I mean, I'm down. That's okay, put it in the title. Okay. Did you want to do it? Oh, shoot. Uh, maybe not today, actually. What about, like, Friday? Unless this stuff, like, has to go right now. Also, like, depending on how much stuff we're giving away, too. And are we gonna play marbles for it? What are we gonna do? Because I'm down to do marbles again. That was fun. Just one item we can do. It. Okay, yeah, Friday works. Friday would be perfect. Ladder or not? Oh, it's ladder, Zerid. Pretty sure it's ladder. Yeah, let's do it Friday. Like the best day of the week, man. You got the weekend to look forward to. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I picking these up? I'm unconsciously picking up the flawless gems again. Stop. Stop. Well, looks like we're going down. No Claw Viper Temple up there. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. By you? Oh, you found it? Oh, wow, it's all the way up here. Okay. Nice. Oh, hello, snakes. <laughs> Teleport in there, immediately teleports out with Oculus. Like, alright, I guess I'm not going there. Ice Blast. Any good drops today? Uh... Honestly, this is the best thing we've gotten today. 
<laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I was farming Pindle for a bit, but no, nah, man. I just do not have luck with Pindle. Like, for some reason, I've never had anything draw from him. I've always been, like, super unlucky. Diablo's a different story, though. Diablo, Pits, and Cows. Those have been, like, my best places to get stuff. Never been a Pindle fan, either. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I know people, like, swear by him, though, but... I just never had luck. The only thing I do like is how convenient he is to farm. Like, you can just spam games over and over. Here. I'll walk with you, Theo. I say walk, but I'm actually, like, teleporting. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm down with the Claw Viper Temple. I approve. Okay. I just feel bad because you gotta open up all these doors. <laughs> I'm just like teleporting over walls and stuff. I'm spamming the urns! Nope, there's nothing. Are you playing a uh, ladder as well, Angie? If so, what class are you playing? Like, what's your main? You, oh, you play offline single player? Okay, that's what's up. If I were to make a hardcore character, it'd probably be offline single player, to be honest. You have a cold sorceress hammered in Javazon? Nice! Hammered in was my main last... I guess, like, non-ladder when D2R came out. But now it's this guy. Or this girl. Fireball Nova Sorceress. I have yet to play a Javazon, though. I do want to try that one of these days. Because just seeing Theo, like, wreck things with those Javelins, oh man. <laughs> like, especially when we do bail runs. Okay, new game. It's like, I can always tell when it's Theo doing the damage. Because you see like a javelin throwing and then just like... Phew, everything just flattens. There's nothing the right portion can't cure. Been hunting for a griffins for months. Ugh. Yeah, that's a struggle right there, to be honest. I still have yet to get one. That's like the last thing I need, to be honest. We've got Oculus, we've got Spirit, Talrasha, Ormus, Wartrevs, Random Ring, Nagel, Talrasha Belt, Mage Fist. We're just missing the Griffins. Oh, and then we have a terrible called Arm swap. 2 1 4. Oh, so lucky. Hey, it still gives you a buff, though. At least we got that going for us. I'd love to have the Griffins on this character. And actually see this build's full potential. That would be dope. Because man, I went into this, like this sorceress, thinking, oh, I just need infinity. Then I could just like stomp on everything. Little did I know, we still need more. It's a while, dude. That's partly why I'm like hybrid damage too. 
have the fireball as a backup. No luck ladder for anything, but I got non ladder. 34 magic find enemy. Ooh, that's pretty high. Yeah, some of those magic amulets. You can get some pretty good stats on those. Oh, found it, Theo. Right over here. I just popped a portal. <clears throat> I think it was this character that I had a really good all res magic amulet. Like, it was really high. No, it wasn't Maros, it was just a magic amulet. Like, basic magic amulet. I'll see if I can find it after we clear this game. I'm pretty sure I still have it. I don't know if I would, like, toss that. It seemed like it was really good. Oh, I'm picking up on amethysts. Without a doubt. 4015, 4015! Nope. Always have a hope for the 4015s. Okay, is this good? Energy shield. Impossible. Skill or all res amulet can have value. I don't think it was skill. It might have been like life in all res. But it was like really high. And it like. It helps me get through the playthrough for a bit. I remember that much. I want to say it was like in the 20s or something. Like the all res. It was something wild like that. We'll see it soon. Qualify for Temple isn't that big. Sarcophagus! Now I'm just like randomly remembering the mummy movie. <laughs> Don't know why. I think they had a few of those. Alright, level two. Come on, where them drops at? A lot of rejuvenation potions. Okay. Nothing here. Let's see about that amulet. Did I toss it? Unless it's on this tab. Atmas, two to traps. Why do I have this? Get out of here. Three to lightning skills. Don't usually like Brendan Fraser movies. Blast from the past was good though. I don't remember that one. Blast from the past. Oh no, did I toss it? I might have tossed it. Oh, that was a really cool amulet too. Why'd I throw it away? I think I was just like struggling for space at the time or something. Oh, here it is, right here, right here. 71 to life, 28 to all res. See, that one kind of like blew my mind. Like 28 all res, what? Seraph's him though. Yeah, we had that somewhere here. Cat's eye. Rising sun. But yeah, that just like, it was crazy when I got that. 
That's actually a good damn handle. Dude, seriously. 28 all res, what? I've never seen it that high on an amulet. But it's like, as soon as I got something with skills, I was like, okay, I'm gonna switch over, of course. Okay, new game. They got the life, too? Yeah, I knew I would have held on to that. Okay, let me stock up on some potions here. Hello. Yeah, but I don't know if that has any like value or anything though. Oh, immediately. Here we go. Aw, oh, thanks for the follow, Angie. Appreciate that. New follow? New Diablo follow at that. I love when we get like new Diablo players in here. It always makes me like super happy. There's too many snakes. Oh yeah, I saw another like thread on Reddit about like the pets and stuff. So like it's, it's like someone did a test and I guess like the the facets and stuff, they're not working on the pets yet. But it was hinted at like they did they would be. Like for skeletons, hydras, and traps. So Maybe we'll get like a surprise and they'll put that in like subtly? I don't know, man. I think that'd be cool though. I just love that they're making these changes to open up new builds. Like, if those worked on Hydras, I would totally try a Hydra Sorceress. Oh, they did fix it? Oh, okay. Oh, for Sunder Charms. Yeah, I think they still have to do, like, facets too, right? Or was that, like, not in the plans? I don't know. Well, even if it's, like, Sunder Charms too, I think that's really helpful. Applies to pets, summons, etc. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to try out the Sunder Charms, to be honest. That's gonna be cool. Facets are good was part of the first patch. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, Grand Charm. Gold. Bettis, best starting character, in my opinion, is a trap sin. Really? Not a sorceress? For, like, the uh, teleports? I know. The assassins are fast, but I can teleport. Trap sense easy to equip. Hmm. You're gonna build a fire trap scene? Dang, I've never played with the fire trap scene. The only time I played assassin was Lord of Destruction. And that was like a lightning trap sin. Oh, circle it. Yeah, I haven't played an assassin in D2R yet. Two to sorcerer skills. 
All those other stats are boo boo though. Okay, new game. Three forms of damage. Burst of speed. Easy to stack magic find. Best solo starting character in my opinion. Hmm. Hmm. Are you gonna magic find with the assassin too? Hello. And then like do a sorceress? Or what's your plan? Cause I was thinking um, gear up a sorceress and then work on getting a horker. Then after that, like work on like whatever kind of build I wanna do. Like my fun, fun build. A firebomb, the light, corpse explosion, GG. <laughs> yeah, I know assassins are pretty cool. Prefer fire to hammered in myself. Oh yeah, holy fire, right? Or summon necro. You're going sorceress, just saying that's the best for you if you don't have a group. Be either sorceress or pally. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm leaning towards a sorceress. Because non-ladder, I started out with a hammered in. And that was like, oh man, that was difficult to magic find. <laughs> Jeez. Then, this ladder, I started out with the summon druid, and then it went to wind. And that character later on became a mule, because I was just not feeling it. Like, at all. <laughs> so that kind of set me back on this ladder. Because I spent so much time on that druid. And it was so slow. Dude, I just could not aim those tornadoes. That was like the thing that like aggravated me. <laughs> I'll have both Magic Find Sword and a Budget Smiter for deep maneuvers. Yeah, I'm gonna need like a Budget Smiter for sure. That's gonna be on the list. Wind Druid needs gear. Yeah, I was definitely lacking the gear. It probably would have been a lot better if I had like Enigma or something. So you can like teleport closer to them and hit those tornadoes. But oh my god. I'd be like this far away shooting the tornado like this, but it would be curving over here. And I was like. Oh my god. It was so frustrating. I'll be around for help with defones. Dude, nice. I'll definitely need help early on. tornado was curving. Yeah, it didn't go straight, like in a lot of the instances. That's why I really stopped playing it. Because I would shoot like this, and it would like curve like this direction or this direction, like depending on where I was. It was so weird. It almost felt like RNG. Might start a fire sorceress this time. Dude, fire is actually really fun. I think that's what I level at least until hell. I usually like do fireball. And then go, like, Frozen Orb hybrid. Fireball, Frozen Orb, that's, like, really fun build for me. Oh, first Shale Rune of the day. Got me a gift. Aw, oh, for me. Make a plus six Fireball Leaf Rune word. Easy. To do solo, yeah, dude. It's such a cheap word too. Okay, let me Let's clear this. I'm coming to greet you. Oh, you're gonna come to us, or I'm right here. It is an honor to serve you. Oh, I need space, dude. I don't have any room. Super rare, rare L rune again. Yep. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? For real? Ginger Fury. Are you sure, dude? How do you get so many L's in hell? Dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> the luck of the draw, I guess. 
It's my old one treated well. You got one better than this? Oh my god, dude. Here. Since you're looking for one, here. You can have my Sheikah. Dude, thank you. Hell yeah. Just upgraded? Okay, I need... I need two more strength. <laughs> oh, this is the one you got? Zera 201 cheered Dex 100. This goes out to Ginger Fury. Thanks for being the man. Yo, thanks for the bits, Zerid. And thank you, Ginger Fury, man. You are the man, bro. I actually get to experience a Griffins. <laughs> okay, I need to find two strength. I know I have it on a charm somewhere. Two strength. Where are we at? Where are we at? Attack rating, magic find, 20 to life. I could swap, there's one strength. I could swap out an Annie. Yeah, let's swap to this one. Wait, what? Oh, that's one more. We need 19 to all attributes. 19, 19, 18, 12. We don't have one. <laughs> oh, where am I going to get the two strength? Hang on. I think my smiter may have something do the oh yeah you're right yo thanks angie big brain moves right there yes there we go ha ah, saved saved Oh, here we go. It's about to get real. I need to find some lightning means. Oh, look at this damage. What? Oh my god. This is like a cakewalk now, dude. Should help a ton on damage. Dude, it really is already. Yeah, the mercenary is set, yeah. Got Fortitude, Infinity, we got Vamp Gaze for the lifesteal. Bro, we are set, honestly. Bro, Griffins, dude. Look at this. Everything's like melting. Feel bad for the monsters now, man. <laughs> One thing I do need to try this on, I want to try it on the archers in the pit. Those it always gave me like the biggest problem when I was farming the pits. Those immune to lightning archers. Your basically completes the build other than your sadder <laughs> rings. Yeah, true. The rings are kind of sad, but... Hey, they work. Okay, I want to try the pit really quick. I gotta see, man. I gotta see. Here, we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you, too. Gotta know. You reduce the res by 18 now, so you do a lot more damage to those archers. Yeah, that's what I want to see too. I want to like see the difference. I feel like this is going to be really nice. Because yeah, I would always have to switch to fireball for them. That's why I did this hybrid build.
Oh my god, get wrecked. Dude, they're... Yeah, they're not even a problem anymore. Yeah, they're just... Oh, see ya. Don't even have to worry, just... There's lightsaber. Go ES normal. Oh, energy shield. Oh, good point. I sold all my tokens though. Wait, I may have more essence. Hold on. Res doesn't matter with energy shield except poison. That's a good point, yeah. Um, I'm checking to see what dust I have. Okay, we do have these two. We just need a green. I'm pretty sure I have a green. So let me hop on over to my mule. I think it was this guy. You have a green, right? We can see what keys he has, too. Yep, we got a green right here. And let's just transfer these over. Hate and destruction. That's terror. Hate. A lot of keys of hate. Okay. Have the essence if you need it. I got it. Thank you, though, dude. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to make six. Here we go. After I put this away. And these. This is so a big thing. It really is, dude. It's going to be like a game changer. For real. Alright. Give me that. Okay, first things first. Strength. Gotta get this up. I want to go a little bit higher than 156. I think we need like 158 with the gear that we have. Yo, what's up, Santa? Good to see you, man. Just stake 60 magic find and running pendle. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Or stacked. Bro, 600 magic find. 150. Okay, we need 156 for the Monarch, but we needed that too. So let's go 158. Put this back. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we're good, right? Okay. Oh, jeez. Going full lightning. Should I do Thunderstorm too? Okay. So go Nova. I max out Static Field. Nova. Max out Energy Shield. Max Telekinesis too? Oh, yeah, because it gets a bonus. Wait, let me put one point into Warmth. One into Frozen Armor. Okay. Then dump the rest of Telekinesis. Okay. Base 18. Okay. Alright, we have to swap these around then. I don't know what to put for this. Do Chain Lightning? Got our Nova on one. Teleport on F2. Got our that. Static field. Oh, there's an energy shield. I never unbound that. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now we go to the mana dump. Boop. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna try Chaos. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Put a slot antidote in your belt. Well, for like the last slot, you don't need healing pots. Bro. Now get insight for eternal shield. <laughs> true, true. Oh my god, dude. I'm not taking any damage. I'm just like mowing these guys down. Get wrecked. Just mana, full rejuvenation, and antidotes. Okay. Oh yeah, because the... Um... Okay, I got you. So what you are saying earlier with the poison and the energy shield. Bro, this is sick. Oh yeah. Good point. Got to keep track of the mana for sure. Dude, just seeing the Stormcasters crumble like that. Insight. Where, where am I going to put the insight, though? Because he's using um, the Infinity. Should I use, like, an insight bow? <laughs> I don't know. Take off all your res charms, stack poison res charms till it's maxed. Oh, that's a good point, too. I could actually make room, then. I'm only 10 away from max poison res. Screw infinity. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Gotta pay attention to the mana here. I like, don't need that. Okay, let's get some more. Oh, my God. Struggling. Yeah, I'm in that same camp. Finny is why you're doing so much damage. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, okay. It's replaceable. I don't know, man. Look at look at this right now. Look at the damage we're doing. The sheer energy. Even this guy. Still doing alright. It's kinda kinda tough though. Stone skin immune to lightning. The self wield your crit. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen people run that actually. Like they do like a scythe or something like that, and it's an infinity. Yeah, I've seen that build. But man, I feel like it's too late for me. I already made my in yeah infinity. We're good. I don't mind chugging mana pots, honestly. It doesn't really bother me. I just have to, like, remember to keep track of them. I mean, I guess you already spent the runes for infinity anyway. Might as well use this in this way. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, shoot, I'm using the wrong set. My bad. Yeah, I was on my CTA for a bit. I don't know how long. Yo, even with the CTA, we were doing some damage there. I just noticed that too when he said, What's your weapon? I'm like, oh. Yeah, I'm kind of using uh, my crystal sword here. <laughs> yeah, that was quick, dude. Hold on. Yeah, it's the meta build. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that around a lot. Yo, fireball works though if you don't have griffins, but. Now that we have griffins, oh my god. So much stuff just opened up. I gotta see how fast this is. If you have Estuda's orbs, you'll deal even more damage. Yeah, I tried Estuda's. But for some reason, I, 
I can't remember why. I think it might have been the magic find. Like, I preferred using the Oculus for the magic find. Have fun in chaos, my second home. We will have you running my speed soon. Dude, I'm so down. Still need two stones of Jordan. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I gotta see. I gotta see Bale. What's your rings? I'm using a Nagel. Hold on, let me clear this out. Oh my! Okay, no one saw that. Rejoin. But I'm using a Nagel. And it's like a random rare ring. No! Yeah, 26 Nagel. And this rare ring right here. It's got cast rate, 26 cold res, and 30 poison res. Bro, those guys just crushed me. Oh my god. Good afternoon. So sad. I do enough gold for that. Uh struggle okay walk of shame to the mercenary what is it? I got a little carried away there got to get you some mono res charms yeah that too that'd probably help here let me get some more gold for um, potions poisons the only enemy yeah Okay, let's try that again. Round two. Fight! Why do I want to play Mortal Kombat now? <laughs> let's take it easy there, it's your first. True, true. <laughs> chill, chill. That's gonna take me some practice, dude. I just dropped a set diadem. That could have been my griffins. No! So close. You'll get it, Angie. I know you will. It's forgetting to shield. I think my shield went away, right? Gotta keep your energy shield up. That's something, yeah, I need to remember that too. Must burn shield into brain. I am I'll get better, man. It's gonna take me a while. Just like using the cube. I guess I can stop using that soon too. Dude, I keep... Keep using the antidote potion too. Shield drops when you mana goes. Oh, okay, that's a good point. So that's why the shield was going away. Got to keep the mana up then. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, you can. Two slots full of Drew, one slot mana, one slot ant. Okay. Well, that's how you run it. I'm so, like, frugal with my rejuvenation potions, though. I feel like they're so rare. If he had, say, 3k more mana. Is that, like, the level to be at? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to this. Run chaos, they're not. Ra oh, that's true. Yeah. Because I do kind of skip over a lot of them, to be honest. Dude! Okay, that right there. Seeing how fast that wave just got obliterated. 
yeah, definitely noticeable damage difference. That's for sure. Or run Andy, kill champ packs on the way. They could do that too. He says rare, you got a full half stash page of them. True. Terra zones, yeah, Terra zones drop a lot of rejuvenations too. Yeah, I've been seeing those. I guess I'm just like conditioned. It's okay. I'm learning. Hey, fail, stop. Is Mike. Mike stole the shield. He's just. a whole different beast right now with that mono burn. <laughs> we must rewire his brain. Yeah, I need to be rewired. Look at that. We have like 6 HP. <laughs> Now that's cutting it close. Okay, guys. I wasn't planning to stream this long today, to be honest. But dude, yeah, Ginger Fury, thank you for the gift, man. This is sick. I do have to hop off, though, unfortunately. I gotta eat dinner. I gotta, like, force myself to sleep and go to the gym tomorrow. Because last week, the power was out at the gym... So, I only got to be able... Uh, I was only able to get deadlifts in. And none of the back workout. But yeah, so I'm going to go hard tomorrow. Don't worry about health, it's all mana. Yeah, I got to... Two more mana. Wait five minutes, got another gift. Okay, I'll wait another five minutes. Might be time to swap armor too. Yeah, maybe. Listen to the Fury. We'll do another Chaos Run. But yeah, if you're going to take off Theo, hope you have a good night as well. Thanks for doing those runs with me. But yeah, usually uh, Wednesday is my shorter stream. I used to do... What was it? What's it called? I used to do Monday streams too, but I kind of switched that out. But those used to be short streams as well. Because my gym days is like... Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Those are my gym days. Also pits. Look at this, my- oh my- oh wait. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I forgot the shield. Okay, this is gonna require like a conscious effort to remember to do the energy shield. Like, I'm overriding muscle memory here now. Dude, thanks, Ginger Fury. Oh my god, we got Stones of Jordan. <laughs> what am I gonna do here, though? I gotta, like, figure this out. Energy Shield would become a reflex, but for now, you must pay close attention. Yeah, I gotta. Increases mo maximum mana 20. Oh my god. 2.4k. We still have the cast speed too, right? There are two hundred and one cheer decks. One hundred. Ginger Fury saves the build. Saving the build, dude. Thanks for the bits again, Zared. Ginger Fury coming in, saving the build. Oh my god. This mana right now is ridiculous. This clear speed right now. Where are they at? Look at that. They're too scared to pop out. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> Immune to lightning and physical. And stone skin. Look at this guy over here. We got a wise guy here. <laughs> I 
I think he likes it. Dude, this is awesome. Except this part, of course. But. <laughs> Extra strong, too. Bro, get out of here. Who are you fooling? Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Sheer damage output. The DPS. Rebuff. Oh, you're right. You're right. Definitely have to make that a habit. That's for sure. Yeah, not even worried about these guys. We are fine. Two grand charms. What's this one? 31 to life? What's this one? 25 to life. 2,500 mana better than 1.8. Buffs help. Yeah, that's true. Definitely helpful. Oh! My bad, dude. I just saw that message. 600 magic flying. Two res. Okay. Now I have to go. Yo, what a day. That was fun. Oh, shoot. Okay. But yeah, thank you again, Ginger Fury. Thanks for this gear, man. Holy moly, that's awesome. And thank you, Zared, for the bits, dude. And, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out, too. Thanks for the follows today, Angie. Appreciate you. Uh, so tomorrow, it's going to be like a variety day. I'm not sure what we're going to play yet, but it's going to be a variety day. And, yeah, live at 4.30 Pacific, like always. Next time we're playing Diablo is Friday at 4.30. So, yeah. We'll be playing uh, variety tomorrow. Diablo Friday. And yeah, we'll go from there. Hope you guys all have a good rest of your day, rest of your night. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.